The optimum way to share information with our external customers is to create a new site collection because it isolates content from any internal sites. Since only an Office 365 admin can create a new site, I'll show you how to create a subsite, which any site owner can do. For the first option, I'll ask our Office 365 admin to create a new site collection for us called Join Forces. I'll ask her to make me the site owner, add our team members and external partners, and send me the site web address. Once the new site is built, I'll need to add a link to it from our current team site. In the quick launch of our team site, I click Edit Links, then Link. In the Add a Link dialog box, I'll use Join Forces as display text and then paste in the web address my admin sent me. I click OK, then Save. And here's the new site for my customers in its own site collection. To create a new subsite, I click Site Contents, then New Subsite. I'll type Join Forces in the title box, and I'll use the same thing for the end of my URL. I'll keep the defaults for the template section. Now, this part is important. To make sure my customers can access only this subsite, I need to click Use Unique Permissions. I'll click Yes under Use the top link bar from the parent site, and then click Create. To add my teammates in the Setup Groups for this site page, I add the names of my team members, and then click OK. To add our external customers, I click Share at the top of our team site page. In the Share Join Forces dialog box, I enter the email addresses of our external partners. Make sure Can Edit is selected, add a short message, and then click Share.